They're brawny, bold, sometimes a little busty, but they're the best fighters around. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dead or alive characters. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the best fighters from the Dead or Alive franchise. Keep in mind, we're only considering playable fighters, though. Yay! I beat you! Number 10, Bayman. Winner! None more than Get in a fight with this guy and you may not make it out alive. Originally, he was hired by Victor Donovan to kill Doa Tech leader Fame Douglas. However, when Bayman returned for his payment, Donovan bailed. Now, Bayman participates in the DOA tournaments only to find the man who double-crossed him. Although, if it's taken him six games to find Donovan, maybe he's not as great of a mercenary as we're led to believe. That doesn't mean he's a bad fighter. In the arena, Bayman is a major threat with his vicious throws and holds. Should you find yourself going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, you better keep your distance. Number 9, Helena Douglas. Elegant, graceful, and a whole lot of class. This French opera singer isn't just the daughter of famed Douglas, she's his successor as the current leader of Doha Tech. While she continues to hold Doha tournaments, Helena continues to participate as a contestant, and she's one of the trickiest fighters to master. Thanks to the vast moveset of quick jabs, pokes, and stance changes, Helena's mix-up game is strong, and her combo potential makes up for her low damage ratio. Helena may not boast much power, but those looking for faster fighters with excellent juggling will feel right at home. Number 8, Mila. I'm not gonna lose. I have to fight. Even though she hasn't been in the series as long as Dead or Alive's other fighting vixens, Mila was a welcome addition to the roster. On top of being a waitress for a small diner, this Spanish redhead has made a name for herself as a mixed martial arts champion. As you might expect from an MMA fighter, Mila specializes in fast punches and takedowns. Once she gets her opponent on the ground, she can bring the pain. We can't help admiring her energetic and ambitious personality, since there aren't too many people like that these days. Hey, no hard feelings. Number 7, Lai Feng. <laughs> Most of the Dead or Alive cast employ speed and strength to take down their opponents. Lai Feng, on the other hand, is all about patience. Relying on holds and parries, Lai Feng is the perfect fighter for those who prefer utilizing a defensive playstyle. She also has an empowering and somewhat amusing story arc. After a run-in with some thugs, Lei Feng is saved by a fellow competitor, Jan Li. So, she entered every DOA tournament in hopes of proving her strength to him. She'd finally beat Jan in Dead or Alive 4. You go, girl. <laughs> Number 6, Tina Armstrong. She may not be as big and burly as her daddy, but Tina Armstrong can kick your ass anytime, anywhere. Our blonde bombshell is capable of dealing a massive amount of damage from her throws, and if she manages to chain those throws, expect a significant chunk of your health bar to disappear. Tina isn't just a pretty face with a little muscle, though. Much like her newfound MMA friend Mila, Tina is a lady with goals. Throughout the series, we've seen her get fired up just at the thought of her aspirations, whether it's putting on a show, helping Mila train, or trying to break into Hollywood. Oh, and did we mention she's got one of the coolest and sexiest wardrobes? Even stronger! Even tougher! Bang! Number 5, Christy. Speaking of sexy, Christy is the living definition of femme fatale. An assassin hired by Victor Donovan, Christy must kill Helena so that Victor may take over Doha Tech. However, just as we've seen with Bayman, it takes a lot more than a couple of games to accomplish this. Are assassins just this slow at their jobs? Most of her moves can stun opponents, which makes it easy for you to get caught in a combo if you don't know how to properly counter, making Christy one of the deadliest fighters to go up against. <laughs> Drink it all up. You'll need your strength, little boy. Number 4, Ryu Hayabusa. No, Ryu isn't just a recurring guest character. 
The hero of Ninja Gaiden plays a prominent role in the Dead or Alive storyline. As the mentor to another fighter, he's helped defeat powerful foes like Raidu, Genra, and Banko Tsubo. Yes, he is one of the strongest fighters in the roster, but he's also the hardest to master. Ryu's moveset heavily utilizes a high-risk, high-reward system, demanding precise execution from players in order to pull off lethal combos. Oh, and he gets bonus points for donning his classic NES outfit. That's just sweet nostalgia. Number 3, Ayan. While her half-sister was treated like a princess, Ayan lived the life of an outcast. This caused her to bear a strong resentment towards her sibling. Thankfully, as the series has progressed, that hatred has diminished. Mostly. And it's those redeeming qualities that put her so high on the list. There aren't many people who would forfeit a grudge. One of the other reasons as to why we like Ayan so much is just how much fun she is to fight with. Our purple-haired shinobi is one of the fastest fighters on the roster, and she even has a whole move set for when her back is turned towards her opponent. Oh, and as for her new appearance in Dead or Alive 6, bad ass. Number 2, Hitomi. With a nickname like the Fist of Innocence, how can you not like Hitomi? This German karate master wears her heart on her sleeve and is willing to help anyone in need. Hitomi and her mentor took Hayate in when he was suffering from amnesia, referring to him as Ein. What a sweetheart! For those who want a good mix of power and speed, Hitomi is one of the few fighters who will satisfy both. Her quick punches deal moderate damage, and her holds provide an excellent defense. Although, who would ever want to punch someone as cute and bubbly as Hitomi? That's just mean. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Get ready. Number 1, Kasumi. You didn't think we'd forget about the woman who is front and center on almost every Dead or Alive box art. Throughout the series, Kasumi has been through absolute hell. She's killed her greedy, sinister uncle Raidu, she's faced off against a psychopathic clone of herself several times, and she's been tricked by Zack into wasting time at his island resorts. Tough life. While she may be easy to learn for most players, Kasumi is also incredibly difficult to master. She's fast and can execute extensive combos, but Kasumi demands patience and knowing thy enemy. She may leave you dead, but the sight of her will certainly make you feel alive. We'll just end the video now. I am ready. Get ready, fight! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.